Hey guys, Mike with Getting Greasy Garage back on uh, the C4. So, last video I showed you guys how to replace the dog bone bushings. Got those in, took it for a test drive. It's still making a clicking, kind of rattling sound. Uh, dug deeper into it and found out that the half shaft or axle bearings, here's a half shaft, it's like a short drive shaft. For, um, this is independent rear suspension, and that the that inside U joint is shot. These are the original U joints on a 1985 car, so time to replace them. Um, it's quite a bit of stuff to take apart. So what I've done is I got everything loosened up, and I'll show you how to take it apart in this video. And then I'll do a separate video on U-joints, and then we'll do a reassembly video. So, first off, I want to show you guys the basic tools that we're going to use. Um, if you don't have a lot of this stuff, it's okay. Um, gear wrenches, they just make things a little bit easier. But a basic metric wrench set, 8mm, 10mm, uh, 13, 14, 15, 17, 19. Uh, the only special sizes you're going to have to have is a 21 millimeter wrench and a 24, uh, a 22 millimeter deep well and a 24 millimeter deep well, a 34 millimeter uh, axle nut socket, and then just a, a basic uh, 8 to 19 uh, deep well, 3 8 drive. And you'll need a pickle fork, um, something to pry with, a pair of side cutters, and you don't have to have a long, long extension, but it makes it easier. And of course, a hammer. And then I get out my little 12 volt zappy gun, a little 3 8 That's kind of a time saver. So not not fancy tools by any means. Everything here, you can go down to Harbor Freight and probably get all all the stuff to do this job for under a hundred bucks now you can do this in your driveway on a pair of jack stands on a jack i happen to have access to a lift so i'm doing it on a lift but I, again you can do it in the driveway so first thing take your brake caliper off and your brake pads out and just tie the caliper up out of the way. Uh, next thing, the axle is retained on with a cotter pin. Take the cotter pin out, take this little lock out. This car has spacers. So take the spacer off. thing. Brake caliper bracket. It's held on by two bolts. Okay, caliper brackets off. Slide your rotor off. Okay. The two forward bolts on your dog bones. Loose, just loosen them up. They don't need to be taken out, just loosen. The other end of the dog bone bolts, these uh, 24 millimeter, go ahead and take the nuts off them. Don't forget, there's washers. Oh, reach it, okay. Your shock absorber needs to come out just to give you room to work and I like to put my some of my hardware back on where it goes most of the stuff is 
self-explanatory. Okay. Next thing is this locating arm. It's got a tie rod end on it. That's where you need your pickle fork. Pull the cotter pin out, take the nut off, use your pickle fork, pop it loose. Stick our nut back on there. This bolt, this long bolt here goes through the hub, connects to your transverse leaf spring. All of this needs to come off. These are also the same bolts that control the rear ride height of the car. Alright. Okay, next you have your uh, lateral link under here that runs from over to differential. There's a bolt here, you need to mark it. That is a cam bolt. So it sets the, the camber of the axle by rotation. So you mark it and just loosen it up. And then you take the bolt out on this end. Okay, get that out of the way. I'll grab the pry bar here. And then we'll just pop this lower link loose. Come on, baby. All right. That's loose. Next, we'll take our sway bar bolt out. Or a nut off our sway bar. Slide your dog bone bolts out. There goes the washer. Take your axle nut off. Those washers that are dropping go on each side of the big end of the dog bones. Axle nut comes off. Slide your sway bar bolt out. angle. Right here on the back there's a little hook. And that little tricky sucker. Come on. Is your e-brake. There it goes. That just pops off that little hook. That's your e-brake cable. So there's your hub. Axle washer goes here. There's one of our dog bone washers inside. That's off. Now you have eight millimeter bolts with straps that hold these U-joints to the spindle and in further to the differential. I had already taken those out. Those you have to use an 8 millimeter wrench and they take time. So have patience. And then pop your axle out. And it feels pretty crunchy. Yeah. Definitely wear. This is a cross piece where it's really worn. You can see it there. So, that is how you get the axles out. Or the half shafts, whatever you want to call them. And, uh, next video, once the U joints come in, I'll show you guys how I do those. So, not that much to it, not difficult, more of a time thing, 
Uh, I have both sides apart and I did it with basic hand tools and in about three hours. Didn't hurry. Um, not complicated. You can do this in your driveway. And so, anyway, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will do my best to answer them. We'll do the U Joint video and then I'll do a reassembly video after that. Uh, for those of you who are watching my channel and you know, for the Fairlane and some of the other projects, uh, this C4 was how I started my channel. I was doing a couple of videos on lowering it. Go check those out. And uh, so, yeah, it's kind of nice to jump back in time a little bit and work on this again. But anyway, waiting for parts now. Oh, a little dust. And uh, so, we'll see you in the next one. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Thanks guys for watching. Stay greasy my friends.